So, John Asiata, that's the captain's run all done and dusted. Uh, how's everybody looking for the Warrington clash tomorrow night? Yeah, we're looking pretty good. I think, um, obviously, throughout the week, we sort of talked about what we want to try and fix from the weekend's game, uh, things that we need to improve on um, and make sure that we can do that this week. But um, in regards to the captain's run, it was really good out there, boys understanding their role, and, yeah, we're ready to go. It looks such a really happy camp as well. There'll be uh, pictures going out on all over the social media of the uh, the captain's run, but is it the happiest uh, captain's run you think you may have ever done at this club? No, I think there's. I think every captain's run this year, um, because I, I speak more about this year because of the branding and the new, you know, the, obviously the new uh, rebranding of the club. Um, I think in regards to the captain's run and how we feel, every every session has been really good. I think um, from round one to now, we've always looked at improving. We've always looked at um, this being a building stage for us. Um, obviously, being a new team. Um, and it's been good. We're, we're always, you know, looking at what we can do to be better. Um, and boys are just really enjoying themselves. It's been something that, that has been, I say, relatively new. You've heard more and more about the captain's run yeah. over the last few years. But I think probably prior to maybe a few years ago, you never really heard about that. Why, why, why do you think that is? I'm not too sure. I think um, you know, I've been in the game now for 10 years. And I think since um, my debut in NRL in 2014, um, it's always been, you know, a final team run or a captain's run. Mm. I think it's it's just where you sort of put everything that you learned throughout the week, um, put it all together, make sure everyone understands what they need to do, you know, on the weekend and just sort of um, just focus on what your job is really. Um, and I think that's what, what captain's run is all about. And as captain, obviously, do you have more input on this particular session maybe than, than any other? Uh, not really. I think I, I sort of put myself in, um, you know, put my input in in majority of the sessions. Um, but this captain's run is, is very short. It's not as long as the others. Um, it's pretty much picking, you know, two, two or three sets that we want to sort of do to make sure that we can nail those things and um, just understanding, you know, what our focus is for the week. And um, yeah, my, my part doesn't really change. Um, obviously, we still have Lemmy sort of directing us what we need to work on and stuff like that. But um, I think it's more about encouraging, you know, different players to sort of, um, you know, work on things that you know we all need to work on. Resilience has been a huge part of the last couple of games, hasn't it? And it, and it will certainly need to be that uh, tomorrow night against Warrington, won't it? Yeah, it is. I think it's something that we've built throughout the pre-season. You know, pre-season is never tough. Oh, it's never easy, sorry. Um, and it's always tough. And that's where you build the resilience within your squad. Um, the tough times throughout pre-season when it's raining, when it's snowing, when the floor's ice cold, everything like that. You know, the you, you come together as a group um, to make sure that we can, you know, perform well each and every day. Uh, we push each other, especially when things get tough. That's where you need your mates. And I think as a group, we've uh, connected and bonded really tightly as a group. Um, and every time something does go wrong, you can see on the field, you know, the the energy and, and the way we sort of react on off, off each other. So um, the resilience within our group is, is, is growing and it's going to continue to grow throughout the year. Does the uh, fact that you've won two games as well, you know, so early on in the season, obviously make uh, training sessions like this a lot, a lot easier to kind of go through? No, I, I don't, don't think it makes it lightly or easier to go through. I think it's, it just shows that the boys are buying into what we are trying to do here at the club. Boys are, you know, having, you know, having their say when they need to talk and boys are just understanding what their role is within the team and what we can do um, to make sure that each week we're improving in different areas. Um, when we come and do review, we're reviewing the game to be better. Um, no matter if it's a negative or positive, uh, you've got to take both when they come and it's, it's all about just yeah, improving. Anybody caught your eye in particular in, in training this week? Anybody kind of stood out who we might need to watch on Friday? Uh, you've got to watch the whole team, man. We're, we're a team of 17 and um, everyone that, that jumps on that field is going to do, their great, uh, do a great job. So uh, we're excited for this one. They got us in the trial match. Um, but that's the trial match, so it's time now for to try and try and see if we can get the two points, and we're just going to focus on us and get the job done. How much are you enjoying being captain of this club? I think, oh, to be honest, I think um, the way I act at the moment and the way I am um, right now is hasn't really changed to last year. I think um, being a leader doesn't really mean that you need to have the C next to your name. I think I've just been blessed and you know been honoured to be able to give that privilege uh, by the players and the staff and. And my role is to just make sure that I lead from the front um, and just make sure that whatever I say throughout the week, I, I can back it up and, and perform and, and do that in action.
Thank you, certainly doing that. And um, another former team of yours uh, have just started their season, the Brisbane Broncos. Uh, how do you think they're uh, going to go in the uh, the NRL this year? I think they'll be pretty good. Um, watching their first game against Penrith um, and then obviously against my other old team, the Cowboys, last week, I think um, that group's been a little, uh, been together now for 12 months because I, I know that last year they did a bit of changing. Uh, new players came into the squad, but this year I think they've sort of got a very similar team um, with the addition of obviously Reese Walsh and some of the others. So I think they, they'll go really well this year um, as long as they, you know, as, as all teams stay healthy um, and just continue to grow.